Assalamu alaikum students, my name is Fazan Farooq and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss a past paper. This past paper is relevant to statement of affairs, which is a topic of incomplete records. All those students who are going to give their A-levels or O-levels accounting paper, this video is for them. Before moving forward, if you don't yet subscribe my channel, so please subscribe. Now, without further delay, let's start with the question. This is a past paper in which the examiner wants to know the statement of affairs. He wants us to draw a statement of affairs. So we know that assets minus liabilities is equal to capital and in order to find out the capital we are preparing a statement of affairs now statement of affairs the heading statement of affairs which based on opening balances we know first heading is non-current assets underneath it we will take all the non-current assets. First of all, now I need you guys to pause this video and read the question by yourself. Take two minutes, read the question, and then we will continue. Hopefully, you read with the question. You now tell me how many non-current assets are there. So there are two non-current assets. One is fixture and fittings. And another one is motor vehicle. Both has net book value and cost. Cost is 7,000 and is 5,600 means the carrying amount or net book value is 5,600. These values are at 30th June 2012. Now, they are asking us to do some adjustments. Okay, if examiner wants you to do some adjustments, you will say no to him? No, you must do it. So the first adjustment is bad debts, leave it because bad debts is a part of receivables which will come later. Second adjustment and third adjustment is relevant because it relates to non-current assets depreciation. So what he says, the examiner says, the fixture and fitting should be depreciated at 20% per annum using reducing balance method. So reducing balance method, reducing balance method applies on cost minus accumulated depreciation into percentage. Here we have cost and we have net book value. The difference is accumulated depreciation, but no need to calculate it because when we deduct accumulated depreciation from the cost, the answer is coming net book value. So it's given. And I will apply simple percentage, which is 20%. I will get answer, which is the which will be the depreciation for the year. It's coming one one. To zero. So five six zero zero minus one one two zero. What answer we will get means what is the net book value for this year? So it's coming four four eight zero. So we wrote down 4480. Motor vehicle has cost of 12,000 and net book value 6,600. Depreciation 15% on cost means a straight line method. 12,000 into 15% on cost. No, examiner says apply the percentage on cost. So we apply. 15% on cost, which is 12,000. 
So it's coming 1800. We have net book value 6600 minus 1800 is depreciation for the year. So we will get scanning amount or net book value of 4800. That's it for the non current asset portion of this question. In this question, check again do you have any other non current assets? So, no, there are no more non current assets. We are done with non current assets. And as well as we are done with note number two and three. Only note one is left. After non current asset side, we will have current assets. We know the sequence. First will be inventory, then receivables, then any prepayments, then bank, and at last, cash. So inventory is 2,800. Trade receivable, 3,500, and we have note number one. In note one, it says, written off. You have to write off a debt of $70. So return off means this debt will not be recovered. Better expense debit receivable going to be credit means receivable will decrease because of return off. So I deduct 70 from receivable balance. I will get 3430. Then we have some other receivables. You can say prepaid or something 220 is given. No need to do any working. Then we have bank. Bank has debit balance. Debit balance means it's current asset. If bank do have credit balance, it's an overdraft and overdraft is a current liability. After adding all of them, we will get 10,570 and we will add all non-current assets and current assets in order to find out total assets. The so total assets are coming up 19,850. These are my total assets. After getting total asset, we will deduct liabilities, all liabilities, current and non-current, then we will get capital amount. In this one, we have first non-current liabilities. So which non-current liabilities there? It says loan. Loan means we took a loan, which is repayable after 2020. Means why I put this under the heading of non-current liability because this is payable after more in more than one year time. That's why it's a non-current liability. So how much? 3,000. Then current liabilities. We do have current liabilities. We have trade payables. 3,100. Any other? Yes, we have other payables, any accrual, something like that, 350. So the total of liabilities are 6450. And we know in a statement of affairs, after deducting liabilities from assets, we will get capital. So we got 13,400, which is capital finance or equity finance or owner's investment into this particular business of Nadia. Yani Nadia's investment, 13,400 into this business. This is, guys, a statement of affairs. Easy topic, but we need to focus. We have to see the things. Sometimes some students missed some items. 
so i always says to my students whenever you took an item just tick it i took it i took this one this one this one this one this one so at the end when you will see all the numbers you taken off means is done not one not two not three you are done with it so this will help you yani you will be assured that you not miss any numbers okay so this is the requirement a now moving forward to requirement b requirement b is again incomplete records topic but this belongs to business equation to all my students when we start the course of accounting we discuss this business equation at very initial stage this is capital equation i used to say closing capital always equals to opening capital plus investment by owner which i can say introduction of money more money into business by owner then drawings yani withdrawals by owner and if there is a answer if the answer is in positive profit otherwise it can be loss what he asked using the capital you calculated in a just tell us nadia's profit or loss in complete records topic now we just calculated the capital how much it was 13400 right or wrong yes it is 13400 we calculated in the question the capital is given any capital is given opening capital something like that it's not written as a capital so just for time being make it x okay you don't know for time being. now we will read these lines nadia dari capital was this in 2011 this was for 2012 requirement a we calculated 2011 they are telling you now the capital means last year closing this year's opening is coming 8200 is given so i put it 8200 here introduction of further of 3 5000 as a capital so reinvestment or further investment by owner is capital introduction profit or loss is unknown and dhari make nadia dhari make the following drawings cash and goods so the total of withdrawals are 2800 plus 350 how much is coming 3000 One hundred and fifty. Now we will do maths. Thirteen four hundred is here. I will put all the figures on other side. Other side of equals. This eight thousand two hundred is positive sign. It will be minus this positive. It will be deducted. Minus three one five zero will go to other side and it will be added. And we have the final answer. Just use the calculator and also tell me is this answer is coming. in positive with positive sign or is coming with negative sign so guys it's coming 3350 3, 3350 positive if it is positive it means it's profit but if it comes in minus definitely it's a loss so that's all for this past paper relevant for all those students who are going to attempt IG SCS paper or A or O level accounting paper. Thank you for watching my video. And if you like this video or if you learn as something from this video, please share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.